Ah, I am pumped to do this review today. Okay, honestly, I'm not fully awake, but I have a bunch of notes, so I probably won't forget anything relevant today. We'll see how it goes. Today, continuing on with the requests, I'm reviewing Rua's, or if you watch the dub of 5Ds, Leo's Power Tool Dragon, who is apparently the envoy of love and justice. Yeah. I don't get it either. So, we have a uh, level 7, generic materials, 2300, 2500 earth machine. Not bad. At first glance, it can fit in just about any extra deck. Which is true, but it's not the most useful thing in just any extra deck because it deals in equips. And obviously it's a machine and it's fairly weak compared to other level 7s. So you're going to be putting this guy in a machine in a deck with that at least has limiter removal in it, if not a bunch of equips. Now, this guy is fairly underrated because unlike most synchros who are inherently minus ones to summon, this guy is inherently a zero because even if you lose a monster to summon him, he replaces that monster with an equip spell. So, even exchange. And then, obviously, he becomes insanely hard to get rid of without some shenanigans like Caius the Shadow Monarch or Compulsory Evacuation Device. Um, if you used something like Black Salvo to bring in Power Tool, then he comes in at a plus one. Even better. The only major drawback to Power Tool Dragon is that you have to have at least three equip spells in the deck to activate the effect, otherwise you can't. Because it requires you to pick out three, and then have your opponent randomly select one of those. Eh, uh, overall I'd say that's fine for the sake of balance, otherwise you'd be able to run one equip spell and grab it whenever you want. They obviously didn't want people to find some loophole to make this thing ridiculous. <clears throat> now, it's a bit tricky identifying what equip spells are worth running or not. The generic equip spells aren't the most fantastic things in the world, but we do have United We Stand, Megamorph, DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation, um, Autonomous Action Unit, and sometimes Armory Arm that we can tack on the power tool or just use with whatever. At a stretch we've got Mage Power and Acts of Despair but I wouldn't use those if I were you since they're just underwhelming. Uh, then there are a lot of more specific themed equip spells which is what power tool should be fetching. Um, Amulet of Ambition for little normal monsters Assault Armor for Warriors, Big Bang Shot, okay, this is a more generic equip spell, but you're not going to be using it outside of Gemini's, because you send it to the graveyard for Evocator Chevalier to blow up two cards for the price of one. Um, crystal Release, because Crystal Beasts love having access to more stuff. Divine Sword Phoenix Blade for those Warrior Turbo decks. Um, Falling Down for Archfiends. Mark of the Rose for Plants. Supervise for Geminis. That's a huge deal. Geminis love, love Power Tool Dragon for fetching Supervise. And Mark of the Rose because it's usually Gigavise that we're dealing with. Uh, Symbol of Heritage. This card has led to several cards being semi-limited because of how strong it is. Works just like Premature Burial, but you need three cards of the same name in the grave. And then Symbols of Duty for more normal or Gemini shenanigans. <coughs> uh, and there are three new equip spells on the horizon in Absolute Power Force, too, that were also used by Rua or Leo. Uh, his Break Draw, which you can equip to a machine, and you draw cards each time the equipped monster destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard in battle. You destroy break draw during your third end phase after activation, but hopefully you've reaped the rewards by that. Uh, then there's Rocket Pilder, 
the equipped monster can't be destroyed in battle, and when it attacks, it reduces the opponent's monster's attack after damage calculation. And then Power Pickaxe, which is fairly weak, but it has some graveyard hate built into it, which is always nice in this graveyard-centric meta. Um, I think that covers most of the stuff you would use with Power Tool. More honorable mention to Limiter Removal, obviously, because he becomes enormous. And if he's equipped with an Equip Spell, you can save him during the end phase, too. Brilliant. Um... They really, really want Morphtronics to use equip spells. I've been rather opposed to the whole idea of an equip Morphtronic deck from the get-go, <coughs> but with stuff like Break Draw coming up, I, I'm probably going to make the conversion and rely more on Power Tool, because the deck never really had stable draw power before, so Break Draw is amazing. Um, other places this can fit in. Obviously, um, Gigaplant Supervise to fetch Supervise and Mark of the Rose. You can bring it out with Gigaplant and Copy Plant. Pretty easy. Due to Lone Fire Blossom and Gigaplant's own effect. Um, it's a bit harder to do in generic Geminis because they don't really have the right levels to go for. It's a bit harder in Zombies too because Plague Spreader's a level 2, Ill Blood's a level 6. Eh. Um, uh, so, all things considered, the best way to bring it out is probably Black Salvo. Bam! Instant level 7. Easy. Um, Although, if anyone has any ideas, go ahead and share them in the comments here, because I'm probably forgetting something really obvious, because I do that all the time. It's just what I do. So I guess that cover is just about... Uh, uh, oh, wait. Art, art. I'm forgetting about the art again. Well, the art certainly delivers. Power Tool Dragon is a dragon with power tools. He's got a nice array of colors. Background is fairly nice, despite not being anything particularly detailed. Um, I recently traded for the ghost rare of this thing, and it's unbelievably good looking. Oh god, um, there are so many levels of foil there, it gets this awesome 3D effect, it's really colorful in the right light, I just love it so much. Uh, it's a mechanized version of the supposed fifth dragon, although Konami seems to insist that Power Tool itself is that fifth dragon, so whatever, we'll probably never see the real fifth dragon ever. It's like the writers don't even care. At any rate, I think that just about covers it for Power Tool Dragon, and since I'm sort of running low on time anyway, in terms of how long this video has been going as is, I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for watching.